so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well this is your very own mask coder and today we are going to solve another potd which says play with or okay let's see what does the question say the question says that you have given an input as an array okay you have been given an array as your input suppose this is your input 10 11 1 2 3 okay you have to change the array in place such that each index can convert it to arri or arri plus one okay now if i see this array first i have to understand arri or what is the or operator doing right or is also known as this this operator is bitwise or okay not any other type of or okay so suppose let us see the example of two and three okay two and three so what is the binary binary representation of two so two is represented as one zero binary representation of three is actually one one okay so what does or say the or's truth table is zero 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 one one zero one one okay it says whenever you encounter zero and zero return zero whenever you encounter zero one return one whenever you encounter one zero return one and whenever you encounter one one return one that is if you are able to encounter at least one at least one one then and return one if both of them are zero then return zero so if i will see zero one this zero is oh sorry this, this zero is paired with this one and this one is paired with this one what will it return zero one will change to one 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 will change to one okay so what does it get changed to it gets changed to three okay so this position will get converted to three yeah also it is mentioned that for some position it is might uh, like for the last position you cannot get arr of i plus one right this doesn't exist so for that just let it let it be it should remain the same so it is three okay talking about this one talking about one okay so one is represented as zero one in uh, binary Two is represented as one zero. It will go. It will also get changed to one one. So it will also get changed to three, right? Talking about eleven. Eleven is getting represented as for you. I am under, uh, making you understand how to do that. So eleven divided by two is. If you divide by two, it will remain five with one remainder, right? Two. It will give a quotient of two with one remainder, correct? Two. It will give a remainder of one. With, uh, it will give a quotient of one, remainder zero. Two. It will give a remainder of quotient of zero with remainder one. So we have to read it upright. So eleven is, re is represented as one zero one one. Now it's your homework to see. Like pause the video and tell me the binary representation of ten. Okay. I hope you have done that on your own. So let's move it. So ten. 2 divided by 10, 5, remainder 0, okay. 2 divided by 2, 1, okay. 2, 1, 0, right. 2, 0, 1. So it is as 1, 0, 1, 0. It is 1, 0, 1, 0. 10 it is represented as 1, 0, 1, 0, okay. So 1 0 or is 1, 1 1 or is 1, 1 0 or is 0, 1 0 0 or is 0, 1 1 or is 1. So it is also 11. So this will get changed to 11. Talking about this index, 11 1. So 11 is 1 0 1 1, 1 is 1. You can see on, no, no change will occur, 1 0 1 1. So it will remain 11. Although the question doesn't ask for it, but I would like to tell you that please observe that whenever you bitwise or bitwise or two numbers a and b the result will always be greater than equals to maximum of a comma b okay you can observe this here now let's see how to solve this the question today is very simple you don't have to apply much of your mind just do as it as it, as it is said it is saying to change arri to arri or arri plus one and we know for index i equals to n minus one that is the last unit it is not possible to so we will not move our loop here 
so what we will do is we will go from 0 up till n minus 2 because n minus 1 is the next index for n minus 2 and what we will do is we will use a loop here and arri equals to arri bitwise or an arri i plus 1 okay and after that return so you can see we have not used any extra space we have just traveled it once so it is o of n time complexity o of 1 space complexity and return error here okay this was a pseudo code and explanation hope you liked it i know that this question is really easy and i know many of you would have solved it but still who were not able to solve it don't worry i i think that who were not able to solve it maybe possible that you have not dealt with uh, bitwise operators in the past no worries you will learn it gradually so let's see what we what did we do there so we did for entire going from zero up till i less than equals to n minus two right i plus plus and we changed each index arri equals to arr i or arr i plus one that is what we do and at last we done arr this is the whole code you have to do so let's see what is the output same output let's try to submit it in the meantime please subscribe to my channel and hope you like the video so 74 day streak uh, we'll meet tomorrow with a new question and that's all for today thank you have a nice day